Butch in Lynchburg, Virginia writes and he says, hey Paul, I love your videos. Thank you, sir. And I watch each one trying to become enlightened, which leads me to my question. <laughs> Sorry. I only laugh because um, I do my best to try and help people understand what's going on and to explain all of this stuff. And of course, I'm not always right, but at least you know <laughs> my answers are, are, you know, some of them are PMFs, Paul McGowan facts, uh, but most all of them are genuinely based in, in, in fact. Yeah, yeah, I, I do my best. Okay, so anyway, no, just my family makes fun of me. Um, <laughs> DSD has been a hot topic of late on your channel. Yes, and that's mostly because of Octave Records. Um, I've purchased your audio file book, thank you, sir, and disc. So now that I have everything set up, how do we play a DSD recorded file? The internal DAC on my Hegel uh, does not recognize the code. Doesn't playing it through my iMac and sending it to the integrated via the network downsample and convert back to PCM uh, uh, Max? I, I am confused. Do I need a special CD player or external DAC specifically for DSD? Okay, so there's a lot of confusion around that and most of it involves getting it in and out of a computer. So if you were to buy our perfect, uh, our perfect wave um, SACD transport, then it would be easy. We, it reads DSD, it reads SACD, easy peasy. But it's $6,000, you know, and not everybody can afford that. I get it. So if we ignore SACDs, because those, and we've been through this before, SACDs are proprietary uh, encoded streams uh, copy protected by Sony and you need a product like ours to get it out into an external DAC that of your choice. That there are, but anyway, we're not going to go into that. So we have a DSD file and let's say you buy one of Octave Records downloads. We, we download the master file in DSD or when you buy one of our SACDs, there's also a, a, a DVD data disk in there. And there you also have the master DSD file. Okay, so now you have that file. What are you going to do with it? Well, it really depends. If you're putting it into a computer, let's say your iMac, a Mac doesn't know or Windows does not know what to do with DSD. You have to have a special program like here in this Pyramix system, we put DSD files directly in and the ASIO, A-S-I-O driver in there says, ah, I know what that is. But in order to do that, I had to buy a special program. Now there are programs that you can buy or that you can get for free. And um, I'm trying to think of what the name of that one is, uh, FUBAR. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what FUBAR stands for, right? I'm not allowed to say it on YouTube or they get mad at me, but look it up. Um, there's a program called FUBAR and it's free and it runs on Mac and Windows. And that program has an ASIO driver that allows you to play DSD on your Mac or your iMac. So that's one way to do it. Most DACs hook up to computers through USB. USB does not recognize without a special driver DSD. So then what we have to do is we have to have a program inside of our Windows or our iMac to fool uh, the DSD stream uh, or, or the computer by, by taking the DSD stream and putting it into sheep's clothing. And this is called DOP, DSD over PCM, D-O-P. And what that does is it cuts up the DSD into little chunks, doesn't harm the data whatsoever, and it adds a little bit of a, a header. It takes it, I, I think it's a 16-bit chunk, it uses a 24-bit word, and there's an 8-bit header. I, I don't remember all the details. But basically it chops it up, puts it into PCM formats so that the computer says, aha, it's a, it's a PCM audio, audio stream. 
and they send it right on through. And then your DAC can take it apart, put it back together, bingo, you're playing DSD. So DOP, use FUBAR, which is a free program, or spend the $50,000 that we did and get yourself a Pyramix system. That'll do it. All right. Thanks a lot for the question. Take it easy.